Whether you're snorkeling in the sea or wading in the kiddie pool, water can wreak havoc on electronics. When it comes to documenting your water adventures, a good waterproof camera means the difference between passing your memories on to future generations or losing all evidence that you ever left the house. In this video, we are gonna be checking out the top 5 best waterproof cameras in the market. You can find links to the products in the description. If you have another product in mind that you would like us to review, please comment down below. We'll look into it as soon as possible and let you know how it compares to the items listed in this roundup. So, without further ado, let's get started with the list. Starting our list at number 5, we have a budget option from Fujifilm. It is a solid underwater camera that takes respectable pictures and is rugged enough to enter an adventure. This waterproof camera is rated to survive dives down to 65 feet underwater as well as drops from 5.8 feet. These ratings are on the upper end of durability. The camera's menu is easy to navigate. When you press the menu button on the back of the camera, a simple and clearly labeled menu pops up on the 2.7 inch display. It is a single list with straightforward terminology. There aren't multiple menus where certain camera parameters are hidden. Within a few minutes of navigating the camera's menu, you'll be able to find every option and setting available, which seasoned and amateur photographers alike will appreciate. While its performance and features do little to excite, the Fujifilm FinePix lives up to its billing as a rugged compact camera and does so at a low price. All in all, for those just looking for a cheap point and shoot that will document the family holiday, it's a great choice. The Hero 6 Black proved that GoPros aren't just for video and the Hero 7 Black has taken its photo shooting skills further, making it the best all-round action cam you can buy. The Hero 7 might not come with a host of new shooting modes or image improvements, but it does come with a few key tweaks that make it exciting to new and old users alike. The upgrade in stability alone will save hours of potential memories from the trash can. Superphoto makes the GoPro a more robust choice for details and the addition of live streaming is a plus for everyone. We would always love to see significant bumps in the battery life, but given the Hero 7 launched at the same price as the Hero 6, it basically means the best GoPro just got better without impacting your pockets. Upgraders might want to consider if there's enough new here for you, but for everyone else the Hero 7 improves on an already winning formula. If you're looking for a waterproof all-rounder, the Hero 7 Black is an excellent little camera. It's waterproof, down to 10 meters, without a case, and while it cannot quite match the photo quality of more stills focused cameras like the Olympus TG5, it compensates with its video quality and near-infinite array of mounting options. The Coolpix W300 is a rugged and waterproof camera that continues Nikon's tradition of producing versatile point-and-shoots that perform as well in the open air as they do underwater. It is a bit pricey for its class and lacks a few high-end features such as a full manual mode, but the Coolpix W300 makes up for it in other ways, such as by offering 4K resolution video. But the camera doesn't quite match the image quality and versatile settings you'll find on the Olympus TG5. It also comes with 4K video recording, a 5x optical zoom lens and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which makes for an immersive feature list. In sunny outdoor conditions, the camera's image looks sharp and vibrant at a glance, but closer inspection reveals a lack of definition around the edges of the frame. Battery life on the W300 is 280 shots per charge. However, our number one pick, the Olympus TG5, claims a better 340 shots per charge. There is lots to like about the Lumix TS7, including its excellent tough credentials and a decent built-in electronic viewfinder. Panasonic, though, has cramped too many pixels onto a relatively small sensor, which makes image quality sacrificed. If image quality is secondary priority to how rugged and easy to use the camera is, then the Lumix TS7 is a good choice. 
It is a little larger than most waterproof compacts thanks to its electronic viewfinder, which gives you a valuable second means of composing your shots, one that's particularly handy to have on a sunny day when glare makes the screen difficult to use. 4K and high-speed video capture are both available here, but we find the Full HD at 60fps mode to be more reliable than either. The 4K's extra detail isn't necessarily impactful enough to warrant its slower 30fps shutter speed, while the HD video of the high-speed mode is very soft and lacking in detail. All in all, if image quality is secondary to how rugged and easy to use the camera is, then this Lumix camera is a great choice. First of all, it's not perfect, and it's not for everyone, but the Tough TG5 is the best Tough camera around. However, at its high price it absolutely should be. Its 12 megapixel sensor uses larger pixels than the 16 megapixel sensors used by most rival rugged compacts. Combine this with its comparatively bright aperture, and the result is improved low light performance. Images taken in less than ideal conditions, such as underwater, look cleaner and more detailed than those of rivals. And even if the performance in good outdoor lighting isn't especially amazing by the premium compact camera standards, it's still crisper and more vibrant than the rugged alternatives. Micro shots in particular look fetching and detail rich, while the 4K and 120fps slow motion video options are welcome. Photo enthusiasts, meanwhile, will appreciate the inclusion of that raw file support and a wide array of manual shooting options.